In today's video, I want to introduce you to something that is going to blow your mind. As an assistant, if you are an assistant or even a meeting organiser, you often have to take notes and assign follow-up tasks and create minutes of your meetings. Now, Microsoft have just released this new feature recently, which is a Microsoft Loop component. And it is basically the way that you can take notes during your meeting. And it's amazing. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. You're going to see Veronica and I interacting on our meeting notes. So first of all, in front of me, I've already started a, meet a new meeting. I'm in my Teams calendar. And the first thing to do is you must give your meeting a title that will be carried through everywhere else. So step one is give it a title. So we're going to call this uh, coffee selection. This is going to be a meeting for Coffee Island where we're going to discuss what kinds of coffee we're going to sell. Um, my required attendee is going to be Veronica. So there she is. Now this works specifically at the moment for internal people. So the meeting notes wouldn't be available to see for anybody that's outside your organization, even if they're a guest and I have tested it. So I've got a meeting happening at three o'clock this afternoon. It really doesn't matter what time for me at the moment. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, let's uh, talk about coffee. If I could only type, that would be really cool. And this is where the magic happens. We are going to add an agenda that others can edit. And this means we don't need to use a third party app in order to set the agenda. Now you'll see it's currently saying getting things ready. And what it's going to do here is the loop component is called coffee selection. So that's why it's really important to name your meeting before you start. So then we're going to pop in an agenda. We are going to say uh, types of coffee. Introduction. And I'm going to assign that to Shelley. So Shelley gets a task and she'll get a notification that she's going to be doing that. Uh, and then we're going to talk about sourcing coffee. And we're just going to keep it simple and make this Veronica's responsibility. Now, Veronica is invited to the meeting, but this is a loop component. And at the moment, Veronica doesn't have access to it, specifically to the task I've assigned her. So I'm going to click the plus sign and grant her access. And now she will get a notification in her inbox that she has an, a task to complete. And then these meeting notes we're going to add during the meeting. So right now I'm going to send that meeting. And you'll see that it will go in my calendar as coffee selection and we can join it or edit it and so on. Now, if you hadn't added that agenda before, you can go in and edit it and you will come down and you'll be able to see that you can add it. You can edit it. So I'm going to close that for the minute. I'm going to bring my other browser across here. I've got Veronica in her teams. So I'm going to go to Veronica's email here. She's been um, she's going to reply, yes, she's coming to the meeting. And here is that loop component, that piece of the agenda that she's been mentioned in. So she could actually start to do some work on this before the meeting. And she could come well prepared to the meeting because she knows she's got a task. So now it should be showing up um, in here. There it is on the 4th of July. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move her out of the way. And I am going to go to uh, July the 4th, which is next week. And I am going to join this meeting from my Microsoft Teams tenant. Now, in order to be less confusing for everybody, I'm going to use an avatar. And there'll be another video from me about creating your avatars later. So here is my avatar that I've already created. Um, and I think you'll agree, she looks a little bit like me. Uh, and I'm going to join the meeting. I'm going to make sure to join without any sound so that we don't get echoes. So once I've joined the meeting, you can see my avatar talking like me. And on the right hand side, there are those lovely meeting notes. And we can see that Veronica will also have access. So now I'm going to bring my other browser across. Let's just uh, arrange these windows. Let's minimize Teams itself. Let's make this fit over here. And let's join this meeting over here. 
and we're going to make that a bit smaller. So, oops, too, too far. Okay, so I'm going to keep the camera on for this one and I'm going to join now. Um, well, it didn't take the camera. It did before when I was playing about, oh, it's because I'm recording as well. It's because I'm recording as well. So um, we can see that this one is Shelley up here. Uh, there's Veronica. She can see Veronica. And this one is Veronica in the browser. Um, I'm going to close those down so that we can see what's going on a little bit better here. Let's make it a bit smaller. Let's make it half and half. And let's make my Teams window the other half. So now we've got them side by side and I'm recording the whole window. So now Veronica is going to be sorting the coffee. So the meeting notes is um, types of coffee were discussed. And sourcing assigned. A decision was made. Okay, and I can't spell decision. So we can see that I was typing as Shelley, but in Veronica's um, in Veronica's window, um, those things were being added. So Veronica's now going to add a task, and there you can see it. Veronica is here. Veronica is going to source coffee. We're going to assign it to Veronica. There we go. And we're even going to put a due date on it, say of, uh, let's go to next Thursday, just because. Uh, and we can keep on adding tasks. We Shelley can add a task now, uh, which, which could be on um, uh, mugs, mugs to be ordered. That should say mugs, so let's correct it. M-U-G-S, mugs to be ordered, assigned to Shelley. And again, we'll have a due date of next week for that as well. So you can see that it's really cool um, to be able to collaborate on these notes as we are. So Veronica is now leaving the meeting. Bye, Veronica. Uh, and I'm coming back. There's just my, me in the meeting. I'm going to leave. I'm going to end that meeting which ends for everyone. And I'm going to come back into Teams and you'll see here is my meeting. And if I come in and uh, edit it, you'll see right at the bottom is that meeting component, that loop component, which has those meeting notes. And there they are. Now they are stored in your OneDrive and they are stored in a folder called Meetings. So if I open up my uh, File Explorer, bring it across. You'll see that I should have a folder called Meetings. And there we go, Meetings. And in here will be any loop components that I've created in a meeting. You'll see I've been playing with it before recording this meeting. So if I choose this one called Coffee Selection, it will open up in the web in loop.microsoft in my SharePoint, and I'll be able to see it in action. So we can collaborate, we can continue working on this agenda together after the meeting. Um, and there it all is ready for me to go. Now, I think that that is a, an amazing um, thing that you can now do with your meetings. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and um, drop me a line. For more training from me, I'm Shelley Fischel, the MS Office Maestro, and you can go to www.msofficemaestro.com.